What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow that Twitter. Why are you mad, man? What's up? What's wrong? iPhone came out with a new iPhone. Or Apple came out with a new iPhone. <laughs> Let me start over. <laughs> Apple came out with a new iPhone. It's called the iPhone SE. It's trending. Why? I don't know. This is the thing with Apple. Every stunt they pull works. I don't know why. I, seriously, I mean, the marketing at this point isn't even that crazy. They were up to date in like 2012. First, I'm just going to talk about the marketing. In 2012, Apple was notorious for the marketing. Their commercials, the way they presented things, it was very sleek, you know? It was kind of like the futuristic vibes, but all it was was a touchscreen. That's it. Touchscreens were invented way before the iPhone, way before Apple came out with it. However... Apple just marketed theirs very sleek and all awesome. For some reason, Apple loves paint. I don't know. In all of Apple's iPhone commercials, there's like a, a pool of like some sort of like orange paint or something. I don't know why. And there's always like some weird techno music by an artist nobody knows. Now everybody does that. Everybody. Sprint um, and all the phones that they own even do that. And Sprint is like the lowest of the low in, in phone companies. Samsung does it, Google does it with their pixels. Every single phone out there has commercials that do this. So why is Apple continuing to trend? I was watching the commercial and I did my research because, you know, before all these videos, I'd like to do a basic thing of research because I upload every day, uh, sometimes multiple times a day. And I like to do, uh, I like to get basic knowledge on the topic. So that way, when I talk about it, I could branch out on the basic knowledge. Guess what? The basic knowledge on this is nothing. This is actually less. You got it. I'm not kidding. This is less advanced than the new iPhone. Okay. Did, let me let me repeat that. They have an A13 chip just like the new iPhones. Uh, they have 4K video just like the new iPhones. But guess what? This is less camera quality. I'm not kidding. There is no ultra wide, ultra, ultra, ultra wide. It's just an iPhone. It looks like the 8. Apparently, it's the 9 because they're making up for the 9, right? They skipped it. They did 8, 8 plus, 10, X, uh, 11, whatever, whatever. They skipped 9. So now they're just making up for it. This isn't a sales thing. This isn't a company thing. This isn't a greedy money thing. No, 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 no. This is a uh, we're trying to fill it. It's like, it's like Star Wars when they released the first movie they released was like uh, the sixth one, the last one. And then they went backward. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I remember like 2003, number three was released when Anakin Skywalker turns into Darth Vader. I watched it with my dad in the movie theater. They're just going out of order at this point. Apple just really doesn't care. They're, let, let's see what they just did. Seriously, let's just recap what they did real quick. They released an iPhone that has a less quality camera that's cheaper and um, is considered number nine. So they released eight, 10, 11, then nine. And now they expect everybody to buy it. In the middle of coronavirus and the quarantine, they released this as well. Nothing new is on this iPhone. Nothing new is on this iPhone. Let me repeat it for everybody out there because, uh, you know, Apple continues to make money off of releasing things that are just copycats of their previous thing. Nothing new is on this. Do not buy it. Nothing new. Well, it's cheaper. Well, buy an 8. Buy a 7. I don't understand Apple's thought process at this point. I never laughed so hard in my life. It's like, you know, sometimes, because I have an iPhone, okay? And sometimes when Apple releases something, it's a little ridiculous. But then I look at the bigger picture and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, they improved their camera. You know, it goes faster. They took out the home button. Don't know why they took out the home button. Oh, and they took out the headphone jack. I don't know why they did, but it's fine. Um... Battery lasts a lot longer. I love that. Good improvements. The A13 chip. Ultra, ultra wide lens. Great improvements. But at this point, it's laughable. You are literally releasing an iPhone that's worse than the new ones. It's lower quality than the new ones. Are we, are we just... Is this a joke? Is this a joke? You're releasing a phone purposely that's lower quality than the new phones. 
for what reason exactly are we doing this? I, I don't understand. This is like the team made the iPhone 9 and they were supposed to release it with the iPhone 8, but they lost it. The guy was like, dude, I don't know. I lost it. And he's like, what do you mean you lost it? It's like, I don't know. I lost everything. I'm sorry. I moved to a new house and, you know, I got a divorce and you lost all the boxes. So they just moved on to the 10 because they were already working on it. And now like five years later, the guy goes back to get his stuff from his ex-wife and he's like, oh my God, the blueprints for the iPhone 9. And then he goes back and he's like, guys, I got it. And they're like, oh my God. Let's release it five years after we were supposed to. <laughs> man, I really don't know, man. I may call me crazy, but I just I can't wrap my head around this. Tell me what you guys think Apple released a new SE phone. It's lower quality than the new ones. It's a iPhone eight essentially just masked as an iPhone nine for whatever reason. I don't know. But anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.